What is up you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to play and install MX Bikes vs. ATV Legends on your MacBook. I am running today on a last year, a 2024 or late 2023 MacBook Pro M3 with 36 gigabytes of memory and as you can see it runs this game pretty well. I am here at the compound you get when you start the game and uh, let me just prove to you that I am on a Mac so we'll go, ooh, we'll open up Finder. We'll go about this Mac. You can see 16 inch November 2023. That's my Mac. Runs great. And I am running this app through Whiskey. Now, Whiskey is a free app, entirely free. It is the exact same app I used in my MX Bikes on Mac installation video. Look at how good this game looks. Uh, and if you have, if you want to install MX Bikes on your Mac too, check that out. It actually runs a little bit better than MX Bikes versus, I mean, MX versus ATV Legends on a Mac. Uh, we'll leave the video in the description alongside put it over here. But the TLDR on how to install this game on your Mac is download Whiskey. I'll leave the URL in the description. I believe it's getwhiskey.app. Uh, once you've downloaded Whiskey, go ahead and download Steam for Windows. Make sure you get the Steam installer, that .exe file. Most people mess up and they get the one for Mac. It will not be available if you download the one for Mac. Get the one for Windows. Once you've installed Steam and you've downloaded the Steam, sorry, once you've installed Whiskey <coughs> and you have downloaded the inst uh, installer for Steam, Go ahead and open the Steam installer.exe through Whiskey. It should be your default application to open EXEs at this point. If it's not, you just simply wrong install Whiskey. Once Steam is installed, sign in and everything is there, like there from normal. You can just go ahead and hit download on MX vs. ATV. And once it's installed, you can open up and run it. Now I will say there are a couple of gimme caveats, and that's on the graphic settings. So let me show you what graphic settings I am rocking. I am on low graphic settings for everything, although I was able to get away with higher graphic settings when you decrease the resolution. And then uh, about that resolution, you go to video and I'm at screen percentage 62. And this is just what I needed to do to keep the game smooth. Basically, this means that instead of rendering at 4K, we're rendering at 62% to 4K, which is like one quarter of the compute. If you're having issues with your graphics, turn down screen percentage. That's my number one tip. Let's go ahead and hop in career. I will show you that everything works. Now, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm an awful player, but you see that my DLC did come up by default. It's that easy. Uh, nothing extra I had to do there. I'll hop into a Supercross. I haven't played this game in forever, so please, please excuse me when I am awful at this. We're here at San Diego. You see the cut screens. Could be a little smoother, but ultimately the experience is good, guys. This is similar to what you would get on an Xbox. I'm going to run in first person for now. Oh no! Oh, no whole shot for me. Do I make the triple? No, I do not. Oh, bad case. Oh. Work our way inside here. Hit the whoops. Oh. I hit a wrong button, I think. I just fell off. There we go. So yeah, guys, this is MX Bikes. I mean, sorry, I keep saying MX Bikes. I have a whole other video and I'm used to playing MX Bikes. But this is MX versus ATV Legends for your Mac. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have a Mac at your mom's, your sister's, your school, your work, whatever, and you wanted to play, this is the way to do that. It runs pretty well, as you can see. It's definitely playable. Uh, TLDR again, download Whiskey, download Steam for Windows, uh, and then download MX Bikes, I mean, MX vs. ATV Legends using Steam for Windows using Whiskey. Uh, let me know if you have any questions below. I really do try to get back to every single one of you. Uh, if you look at my other videos, you'll see I respond to almost every single comment. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions, issues, etc. I will get right back to you, and I hope this helps. Let me know if it helped out in the comments below also, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested, I will leave a link for my MX Bikes installation video on Mac up also. I know a lot of you guys like to play that. And uh, cheers. Hope you enjoyed and have your ride. Stay safe out there.